Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore refrigerator water tube kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions two inserts, and the water tube. The water tube kit goes between the water valve and the back of the refrigerator. The main reason to be changing it out is if it has a hole in it and you're not getting any water in the ice maker and you're getting water on the floor. In order to change the part, we have to access the back of the refrigerator. So we pulled it out and now we're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to remove the access panel. Now that we have the screws out, we can pull the panel out, let it drop down a little bit, and then pull it out and set it aside. Now that we have the back panel off, we have access to the water valve and the water tube. You may get a little bit of water out of the water tube, so make sure you put a towel down when you take the water line out. We're going to use a wrench in order to push up the little retainer. Once you press it up and release it, then you can pull the water tube down. Now that we have the water tube disconnected from the valve, we have to take the top half off. We're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to loosen up the clamp and take it out. Once you have the clamp loose, you can carefully pull the water line out. Now that you have it out of the upper fitting, if there's any tape left on the back of your fridge, you can pull the water tube kit out of that and set it aside. Here's the old water tube next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. We do have to cut it to length and put the inserts in at least one end of the tube. If you have the quick fitting like we have, you're only going to put the tube in the opposite end. If you have a compression fitting on your valve, then you're going to use both of them. In order to make sure you get the hose the right length, you can match up the other end of the hose and then mark it with a marker so we can cut it with the razor blade. Now that we've measured our tube, we can cut it to the correct length with a razor blade. You want to make sure when you cut it that you don't crush the tube or damage it because you want to make sure it gets a good seal if it goes into the water valve. You want to make sure there's no sharp edges. Once you have it cut off, on the end that goes into the top, you can push this insert in. This insert is basically so when you tighten down the clamp, it doesn't crush the water tube. Once you have it installed, we can put it on the fridge. To put the new water tube in, all you have to do is line it up with the hole and push it all the way up until it bottoms out. With the bottom half into the valve, we can run the water line through any tape that may be on the fridge. If yours is missing some from before, you can always put some new stuff on there. The last thing we have to do is push it into the fitting up here. Once you have the part installed, we can use our quarter inch nut driver and tighten down the clamp. Now that we have the part installed, we can put the access panel back on. All you have to do is slide the lip underneath and lift it up. And then we can go around and put all the screws in. Now that we have the access panel back on, you can push the fridge back in, turn the water back on, Plug it back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.